well, well, well. I'm on my way to a job interview today. I can't tell my nails kind of pinkish, but they you can still see the black and underneath. But they're pink. Uh, pink and black. I tried to remove the black dye, but I didn't have time, so I still think they look okay. They say also it glows on the black light, so if I go to a club, they're going to be glowing. That would be fantastic. Take the next way toward Big Chesley anyway. Avenue, then turn left onto Big Chesley Well, you're here in the background. This is my instruction for the GPS because I'm going to a company called DSK. They're having an open house. I said I was going to be there at 1 o'clock, but everything got delayed because of... Um, me not being ready, I should have left and have everything ready uh, before going today to the interview. But I woke up late and then I had my appointment with my counselor, and then, of course, an IBS attack before I jump in the shower. So I am running totally late. I just hope that that doesn't come against me. At the same time, I applied last night to the position, they have a position that is a packaging technician, um, it's just working manufacturing. It's a two-hour chef. The place is about an hour drive from here, from where I live. I live in Troy. Winter could be a problem driving. Um, it's in the middle of nowhere. I went there into that facility in 2005, I remember. and had a pickup truck. And they offered me a position. The company was called before being called, being bought by Glaxo's Miss Klein. Um, it was called Stephen Laboratories. And um, I went there for an interview, and uh, they made me take a test for process operator, and they ended up offering me a position as a process engineer. This was before I transitioned genders. The reason that I didn't took it was because I was involved in theater, and I felt like it was too far away, and also the gas price were going up, so uh, having a the car that I had, I was like, this is going to be too much money for a long commute. Um, but I missed an opportunity to be working as a process engineer back then. And I sometimes wonder to say, what if I had taken that position? What, I, what would my career be at this point? And uh, I kind of regret not taking the position. So now they're doing an open house. Now they're having a shitty chef, which is a 12-hour chef. I'm not a big fan of 12-hour chefs. Seriously, I'm not a big fan of 12 hour chefs, I don't like 12 hour chefs. I think 12 hour chefs are are brutal, honestly. Like, especially for manufacturing, I feel like it's like, why? Why are we giving people in manufacturing 12 hour chefs that could end up fatiguing an employee more during the course of the chef, which could lead to accidents? That's my thinking. I don't think manufacturing shifts should be 12-hour shifts. I think it's ridiculous to think that we can demand people to work in manufacturing, which is actually, a, uh, depending on the job that you have, it can be highly demanding physically and expect people to be safe. That's my opinion as an engineer. I feel people should work eight-hour shifts at most, maybe less than that just so that way they can do the job but they also can pay attention to safety because if you haven't slept enough you will probably struggle with safety and I understand that doctors or sometimes even police officers they work 12 hour shifts we have come to, a, to, to put those shifts out there but this is manufacturing you are in front of machines you have to pay attention to what you are doing so that way you don't get injured or you don't damage a production lot. So to me, I question why manufacturers are daily changing to 12-hour shifts. You know, I think I, this probably means that they can hire less people, but at the same time, because if you, if you go into an hour shift then you will, and you want to produce 24-7, then you will have to hire more people. You will need a second shift and a third shift, which means that you will need <coughs> <coughs> you will need more to hire more people to do the job um, that needs to be done to do the job that needs to be done but at the same time you are also 
you're also saving money by hiring less people in a 12-hour shift. So I get it. I see where it comes from. But I think it's a bad idea as, a, as an engineer that has work, um, that has education and have work in manufacturing because I have work in manufacturing, you know. And honestly, I think 12-hour shifts are a bad idea. Ten, I have worked 10-hour shifts. There was a company that I was working at, 10-hour shift. And trust me, by the eight hours, I was just like, I don't know how long I can keep this up. I was in zombie mode at that point. When I was working, um, through the job wasn't, um, I was making things. I was, I was a cheaper, so I just putting things in boxes. But keeping the energy up to meet the rates and making sure that I was doing things safely too. At the eight hours, I was just like super exhausted. I just wanted to go home, you know. Um, so definitely, it causes worker fatigue. And I feel it's, it's, it's just like when it comes to safety, it's not a very, it's not a very safe. I think uh, I, I don't know. There's been studies that people have done about the safety of manufacturing in 12-hour shifts. It saves money to the company ultimately because then they can hire less people, so they don't need to have people for a third second shift and a third shift and you know some people don't like working the graveyard shift so like they can produce the number of employees that they need for the job but it certainly can affect in my opinion it could affect um, safety so that's why I'm not fond of the 12 hour shifts in manufacturing um, <clears throat> Especially when, like, 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 I know that I have sleep problems. So, like, it's like, oh, 12 hour shifts, yeah. And my sleep problems to it, like, uh, my insomnia and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be struggling. Uh, probably can end up falling asleep or something if I get a 12 hour check. Yeah. I'm still going to go to interview because that's a pharmaceutical that is there, and I'm pretty sure that with my skills maybe there's a chance that they have a position engineer maybe not I don't know you know I don't think they they, they would need me in there as an engineer at this point mile, keep right to but on New York 7 West. I can Follow go and check it out you know but the fact is the other thing that is interesting is like they are offering signing bonuses like they are offering two thousand dollars if you take the day shift three thousand dollars if you take the night shift <laughs> I'm sorry to say it, but when companies have to offer you money for you to go and apply for a job there, that's a sign in my opinion. That's a sign in my opinion. Uh, one, it means that they are having difficulty attracting and retaining people. Then again, like I live in Troy. To me, it's an hour away, the job. It's a, it's a long commute, which means that if I work a 12 shift, I will have to wake up and just be on the road to get to work or wake up three hours before my chef, which means that at that point I will have 12 plus uh, three, that's um, 15, 15 hours and then an hour back home, that's 16 hours and, <clears throat> and at that point I will probably just have to go to sleep most likely. So I can wake up the next day and go to work because 16 plus 8 that's 24 yes so it means that I will have to it will be go to work sleep go to work sleep and I question when I'm going to have breakfast when I'm going to have lunch dinner um, so yeah it's going to be a hike for me so I'm hmm, yeah, uh, that's a pro. That, that could be a problem. It's even 30 minutes, and I, I like as has said in continue previous videos, my cutoff for commuting is 30 minutes. I don't want anything more than 30 minutes. I think it's then you can pay me a lot of money or have um, have something special for the position. So I don't know. I mean, so the fact that they are offering bonuses it means uh, to me it, it's a sign. So it's a sign that they, it might not be the best company to work. <clears throat> and I get it because honestly, like, a tough hour shift is brutal. Um, if 
the job is too demanding and they pay very little that's also brutal too so I, I don't know I mean I'm I have question mark question mark question mark as to why they can afford to offer a two thousand dollar signing bonus and a three thousand dollar signing bonus it tells me a lot about the company it tells me a lot about about the issues that the company could have and this is me from my perspective and I haven't even had the interview yet so I will still go to interview let's hope for the best I will have an update video about after the interview so um, hopefully you will get to see both of those videos because I don't have internet right now in my car so I'm not going to upload this video until I come back so you will get to see both videos at the same time so this is my interview post interview <coughs> I mean, pre-interview, post-interview will be after the interview, so it's the pre-interview. I also have some books that I'm going to donate that I will stop by on the way back. So, yeah, definitely wish me luck and um, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best, you know. Let's hope that the position, I mean, if I get an offer, I, will, I may or may not take it. I mean, I like manufacturing, but at the same time, it's like... The 12 hour shift is a negative for me and the hour commute is also a negative for me, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Bye for now and I'll see you after the interview. Bye!